Hey, what's going on, you guys? What you got to the channel? It's your boy Big Dog back with a, another review for The Mandalorian, episode two, The Child. Quick heads up, I do not do non spoiler reviews for this show. I don't see the reason because you're watching the review for it. Pretty sure you're watching the episode as well. So, yeah, just so you guys know, I only do non spoiler reviews for movies, TV shows. We got to talk spoilers. All right, so if you have not seen it, Catch up with you later till you do. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta dive into this episode because this episode, the Mandalorian deals with most of because he's taking the child who I've called Boda. The reason I call him Boda is because he look like a baby Yoda. We know his name's not Yoda, but he's the only I don't know what species Yoda is, so I just go call him Baby Yoda. For short, just gonna be Boda. So yeah, just just, just deal with that. But yeah, he's dealing with him, and he see the other people still have like the tracking file for him, and they're coming to like they baby trying to come trying to come claim him. Either one one way or another, they either claim the baby or they're trying to kill the baby. That's just their their whole position up on this thing. He gets attacked by like three uh three other bounty hunters. I'm sure that's what they are, and uh, he he fights them off. You know what I'm saying? Pretty pretty soundly, and like he he realized like yeah, this is this is gonna be a lot harder. Than I expected. So, nonetheless, he took some damage during that fight. You know, he got a little cut on his arm. And uh, one of the things I, I, I Boda is adorable. Okay, I, I need one in my room, or just like just I just got have one. You know, like Boda's ten times uh, uh, more adorable than uh, what the Porgs. I think that's what they were called. The things from uh, Last Jedi. Uh, them you could have ate, yeah. But this. It's just baby Yoda, it's so innocent, man. Why anybody would want to kill him? Probably because he's strong as hell. We're gonna get to that in just a minute. But yeah, uh, we see that uh Boda sees the Mandalorian like trying to heal his cut, and he keeps getting out of his like his uh his carriage, I guess you could say, and trying to hit, and trying to do something, he just keeps putting it back, and then he ultimately gets tired of it, goes back to uh they head back to the ship. And then out of the, 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 you get back to the ship and the jaw was like taking off all the parts. I mean they done ransacked it. I mean <laughs> they they are taking everything. They done stripped this thing butt naked, okay? And <laughs> he starts disintegrating a bunch of them. Chased them down, trying to get his stuff back. He couldn't. When he got a that whole action scene was cool. Like an action scene with him uh, uh taking them out. It's, it's like excuse me. Like this, this beard hair got on my mind. Uh, <laughs> it looks, it feels just like a western, bro. It feels so much like a western. It's set in space that, that I, it's it's ridiculous, and that's basically what it is. But like when he's chasing down the 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 the, the crate, uh, their their big, it's not a ship. It's like a Land Rover type thing, you know. That I know it's the actual name for it. I just don't know. Know it's the name for it. I just don't know what to call it. Uh, but him taking out all them, I just shooting that song. Other ones coming at him. He's hooking up, and he finally gets to the top. <laughs> they all wait on him and shoot him right off the side. I'm just like, yeah, that seems about right. And then once again. Baby Yoda's just looking like, oh, get up. It's a little boulder just looking like, yeah. And then he goes back and talks at my boy OG. That's what I got to call him. Cause they, they, I thought by the end of this episode, they was gonna, he was going to ask him, hey, old time, I didn't even get your name. But he never he never did, you know. It's just my boy, I have spoken. Go holler at him. He's like, hey, well, you're going to have to, I can, we can negotiate for him. I can get you to talk to him. And that's what he does. He goes to talk to him. They they want either his uh, best guard, you know he's not coming up off that, or they want the kid, uh, Boda, you know he's not coming up off that. Like, what else do you want? Like, we want the egg. Of course the egg is somewhere about this giant rhinoceros-type monster that he has to, to battle. And clearly is about to lose because he just, it's like he's at the point where he's just like, he's tired, he's beat up, he's muddy, his gun's not working, he's just in the worst situ possible situation, he just holds the, he's like, this is it, I tried, and next thing you know, 
thing that we've seen it about to happen multiple times. We just knew like Boulder can use the force. We know Boulder can use the force, but we didn't know to what extent. And Boulder stops the rhinoceros. I, that's what I'm calling it because it looked like a rhinoceros. I don't know the actual name for it, but like the, he stops it and just lifts it in the air. And then the Mandalorian stabs him inside the neck with one little stab. I'm kind of wondering, like, hey, was that like a poison knife? Because that one little stab shouldn't have killed him. I'm sorry, you, you gotta have to stash some gas. Because I don't see bears take more stabs than just that one little thing. You know, even inside the deck, they fight for a little bit longer. But hey, like I said, this is a this is a bounty hunter. I'm pretty sure he equipped from some stuff to like does, you know what I'm saying, pretty quick damage. So I'm assuming it was a a poison blade that like that that incapacitated and he stole this egg. I'm thinking I'm not knowing what the job was want with it. Boom, chop the chop the top off. They just start eating it. So I eat the yolk. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, like, come on, man. What y'all doing? That's what really bro. <laughs> but the biggest thing <laughs> is that Boulder uses the force. And he and he, granted he's fifty years old. So that kind of makes you wonder like does the force just come natural to to Boulder species? You know what I'm saying? That 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 those type of I don't want to say aliens. I don't want to say, because they're not aliens, I don't think. You can't call them aliens, you know, because you can't technically, you know, they're all living in space, so. So, yeah, the, just his type, specific type of species, the, the force just come natural to them. And plus, he's 50, so he's been able to develop some stuff. Even though he's young as all, young as all I know, he's still, I mean, he's 50. So, he had time to, like, develop some stuff, so. And he just, after he uses it, he just falls asleep. And then he doesn't wake up until like the very end once they uh, got everything back in order. And uh, uh, they leave uh, OG, uh, uh, old time, or whatever you want to call them. And they're on their way just traveling through space. I thought the whole time when they was, um, when they was going up in space, because it seemed too quiet. I just knew something was about to attack their ship. But if that didn't happen, they just, you know, they skated off into the sky. And like, I'm assuming he's going to take him back to, 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 to receive his reward. But it's just, I just don't, it's just something about the way he looks at it. And even though you can't see his face through the mask, it's just, it's something about the way he looks at him. And you can tell just like, nah, it's, it seems to be more than that, you know. Now, another thing. I thought IG Eleven was coming. Is IG Eleven gone? The 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 the, the body droid. I'm assuming he's gone now. Cause if he was coming back, he would have came back this episode. Granted, he got blue in the face the last episode, and it's not like he's a a human where he gets shot and he can like like stitch himself up. He's got he's a robot. He got shot in this like main frame or whatever, and that's 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 pretty much it. But I was expecting him to come back, but. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe they just, that's like, that was a mislead to make you think he was going to have a drawer or something. But I'm excited to see, man, one thing, oh, another thing, it's not, it's not bothering me. It's just like, it was a 29 minute episode. No, it was not. As a matter of fact, this really wasn't a 29 minute episode because you have to recap. This was like a 20, 27 minute episode because like the, the episode ends at like 29, 33. This, uh, this is just what I do. I like paying attention because I saw the episode with 33 minutes. So I'm like, y'all supposed to went up. Y'all went down. The first episode was 40. Then this was 33. I'm like, wait a minute. Because, like, granted, and you feel that way because you want to see more. Because the show leaves you, like, one more. But, like, yep. Can we give me, like, a 50 minute one? You know what I'm saying? Next episode? Something? I mean, come on now. <laughs> come on. Come on. I mean, I'm just saying, Disney Plus, you got, you got billions. I mean, you got millions invested in these episodes. Let me get a little bit more than that 30 minutes now. All right? Just ask. But uh, you guys let me know what you thought about this episode down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.